Hi everyone, my name is Shai, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to part 3 of I Draw Your OCs. I do have part 1 and 2 up on my channel if you'd like to check those out, as well as the submission form down in the description if you'd like a chance for your OC to be featured in part 4. Um, but there's not really much to say for the intro, so let's get into the art then. So this first submission comes from at Sombra7567. This is their OC, Ninx the Cat. And Ninx is a no-nonsense uh, kind of gal. She's a little sarcastic and funny, but she means well and cares about her friends. So I really tried to convey that personality description through the pose. Um, and it also said that Ninx has a slight connection to the Phantom Ruby from Sonic Forces and she's able to manipulate reality to a small degree. So here when it said that Ninx was able to manipulate reality, I immediately thought of those red cubes that appears whenever Infinite used the Phantom Ruby um, from Sonic Forces. And I thought that would be a cool um, reference to include. And according to the backstory here, she was the rookie character in Sonic Forces and left the war with high regards. She eventually left the restoration after becoming disheartened at Eggman being up to his old tricks again and became a freelancer doing the odd security job. So uh, Sombra was kind enough to include this comic panel as reference material and it shows Ninx in sort of a security hall, I think. Um, kind of like the security hall level from SA2. And there was this really nice blue um, backlighting that contrasted well with her dark fur color as well as the turquoise highlights in her hair. So I thought it would be cool to play around with that aspect of a turquoise blue as an accent color by including it in her fur and also using the fact that she has a connection to the Phantom Ruby to sort of play off of that color scheme a little bit. So instead of being red, her reality bending powers match the turquoise blue. And I thought that would be really fun. And here is the finished piece of Ninx the Cat. Thank you so much for your submission, Sombra, and I hope you like how it came out. So, for our second OC, we have this submission by Thunderbun, and uh, this is their OC, Pace the Hybrid. So, Pace does not have any powers or abilities, but he is a master at extreme gear racing. So I really liked the idea of him being an extreme gear racer, so I made sure to include his um, extreme gear, obviously, his hoverboard <laughs> into this piece in some way, and this board gave me, it gave me a time, man. <laughs> I, I really need to work on drawing like props and mechanical devices specifically, but this board was, it was great practice, but man, did it, it gave me a run for my money. <laughs> but okay, um, so Pace is not one for words and never says anything. He's always angry and keeps to himself. He has no interest in powers or being heroic. All he cares about is being the best extreme gear racer there ever was. He will fight his way through competition and he fights back with brutal intentions. He doesn't care about anyone else nor does he care about how badly he might hurt them. He will win at all costs no matter what. So, very intense kind of guy. <laughs> so, after he moved out, Pace felt like an outcast because he was a mixed breed, and he didn't know what he wanted with his life. One night, when he, where he found a group of riders, the Babylon Rogues, racing another group down the streets, Pace saw one fall and drop his board. Seeing this, he felt compelled to try riding himself, so he quickly stole his board and started to race. He caught up with the pack rather quickly and was surprisingly very good for his first time. With almost no effort, he was able to get all the way back up to first place, and even Jet was impressed. But of course, he was able to take first place back and make Pace wipe out. That night changed Pace forever, and right there he found his purpose in life. He now lives as a very skilled extreme gear racer and does whatever he can to win. Thank you so much, Thunderbun, for your submission, and here is your OC, Pace the Hybrid. And that wraps up this video. Here are the finished pieces of Minx the Cat and Pace the Hybrid. Thank you so much, Sombra and Thunderbun, for your submissions, and I hope you like how the finished pieces came out. 
And with that said, thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you'd like a chance for your OC to be seen in part four, the submission form is linked in the description and I go through every single one. Thank you all so much for your submissions. There were so many cool OCs. Really sorry that I couldn't get to everyone, but I really do appreciate all of your support and all of your OCs are absolutely amazing. You guys are really creative and I really enjoyed looking through all of them. But um, yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.